What's poppin' Rob Television? Welcome back to another reaction with your boys. You can see, man, I'm back. Well, I can't say back, because this actually is my first time reacting to Will Trent. Like, I was finna react to his videos one day, one of his videos, I think it was the 100-point game, which I'm eventually end up reacting to, but I don't think I'm gonna react to that today. But this is my first time reacting to him, and he talking big noise, man. He's saying that he was the best. Now, this is no disrespect to him. I know he's a legend. You know, I'm well aware of what he's accomplished, but he's saying he's better than the one, the only Michael Jordan, man. So I'm guessing in this video, he's gonna be giving like some, he's gonna be spitting facts or giving or pleading his case. And everybody deserves to have their case heard of why they're the best at whatever they do. But I ain't gonna talk y'all there, man. We're gonna get straight to this video. But you know what we do, man. Before we get into the video, do me a big, big favor, man. Smash that thumbs up button. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. When you subscribe, click that post notification bell to be notified on all things Rob Television. They get into the reaction, man. He asked Michael Jordan uh, a few months ago. He said, Michael, now don't be, you know, shy and don't be this and don't be that. Are you the best basketball be player to ever play? And Michael said, yes, I am. Michael Jordan and you, for a while, went back and forth. Yeah, he's at a different level of celebrity, isn't right. he? Only because of the, the, the different kinds of media exposure mm -hmm. that he's been given. If the two of you were in a room together, where do you think your conversation would, would focus, the two of you? Well, just... From observation, bro, Will Chamberlain was a big dude. Like, man, this dude with hands, like when he was just doing like that to the crowd, man, this man's hands is massive, bro. Like, that's crazy. Well, but you know, first, you know. We're at the NBA's all-time team hey, celebration bird. in Cleveland. MJ, Magic. And over in so, the corner, Isaiah Thomas. Will and Michael Jordan. And they're sitting at a table arguing vociferously as to who the greatest player of all time was. And they're really? back and forth. And just, it just intense as can be. Hey, does it steam you that Michael Jordan gets paid so much and you were ten times the player he is well, and you never got that kind of big money? Do you ever say to yourself, am I better than Do you consider yourself... Like, yeah, is he better than you were? It bothers you when people talk about him as being the greatest player of all time. Well, it bothers me because we all have our opinions. And I don't think that, you know, uh, commensurate with uh, what he's doing, what he's done, and, and, the, and how the game is going today, that he, he's better than uh, a number of people. I contend Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player who ever lived. Mm -hmm. I would put you number two only because you only won two championships. Now people are going to say, well, you know what, he had a lot of stats hey. and this and that. For sure. He 100 for that, though. I ain't going to keep positive, but this man told him in his face. A lot of people say, oh, this and that, but then when they get in people's face, they'll just be like, um, yeah, you know, you the best. Yeah, yeah, you, I get that. Like, he said his best, man. You, look, Michael Jordan's over you, bro. Like, he 100 for that. Listen, that. You won two world championships, okay? I have a friend of mine who I talk to about once a week. You know what he says about Michael's four championships? Mm -hmm. He doesn't say anything about it. Because, Why? Because, because he has 11. Bill yeah. Russell. I don't think uh, you know you can predicate how great a guy really is, or because he has Based championships. The championships. There's a lot of guys yeah. on those championship teams who've done nothing. The greatest scorer of all time? Not even. Would you well, even give him that? Well, you know, you see, what people don't remember was that my first seven years, I scored a lot of points. Then I stopped scoring on my own volition. Uh, I tried to do other things. I was asked to do other things, and that's what I did. So if I had continued to score, I would probably be averaging 40 points for my whole my whole lifetime. Does that make me the best scorer? I really don't know. But one thing I do know, that all the years where I was usually scoring all those points, I was leading the league in percentile shooting. And that's also important because if you take all the shots, then you should be making the highest percentage. So when they compare me with Michael, Michael's averaging 31 points for his lifetime. I average about 30 points for a lifetime. But I stopped scoring. I know that basketball is a team game, right? And you've already made Michael number one. Mm -hmm. But if you had to have Will against Michael, my prime and his prime, how much money would you be willing to bet? <laughs> wow! <laughs> he's six foot seven, and he's uh, like 197 pounds. Mm -hmm. Coming into what we call our domain, the pivot mm -hmm. for us big guys, mm -hmm. would not have been very wise of Michael, you know, if he was playing during our time. Uh, so we would say, uh, Michael, you know. But then I got to say, Will, you know, I got to chime in. I got to say, bro, Mike was going up. They wasn't just as physically big as you are, but, like, them dudes was, like, getting, like, he was getting banged up. Now, like, I, I can understand if you was comparing that, like, yourself to this era, like, my era of basketball, but, like, you know, Mike era of basketball was pretty, you know, rough and rugged, too, so I can't really... Can't really agree with you on that one, man. Michael, you know, as long as you do all those fancy things outside of where we are, 
That's fine. You think you could have beaten Michael in your prime? He would take you outside. He shoots from the three-point arc. Then you try to come out and get him. He'd right, he dribble around you. I run the 109, 5. 100 meters around 10, 10, 2, and then in that area. 52 vertical. A 50-inch vertical jump. By the way, what's what's Michael Jordan's vertical jump? Do we know? I don't think it's quite that high. Not as high. No. Bench press almost 600 pounds. Michael would probably be going. Wait a minute, 600 pounds? 600 pounds. You think uh, he'd have been crushed? Is what you're saying? I don't think. I know you've been crushed. <laughs> right, yeah. So it okay, be, it be Will. I came into the NBA and destroyed it. My tool so dominant that they frightened people. You were Jordan before Jordan. Yes? Yeah, well, you know, I didn't even like to say Jordan before Jordan because Jordan, you know, Jordan's come behind a whole lot of us as far as I'm concerned. Will, who always has the last word in everything, Will looked down at Michael and said, Michael, until you are so great that they start changing the game to stop your greatness, then I don't think you have a right to make that accolades and that. Well, once again, I, now this is a reaction video I still got to bring out now. I yet I have yet to do this. I got it, it wrote down on my list that I showed y'all. Now, Detroit had Jordan rules. This dude had a whole set of rules designed to stop him. So, Will, I got to argue with that one again. I don't know if this video was made prior to that, but I got to argue with you on that one again now. Come on now. I like it. I like the confidence. I feel like everybody should have confidence in what they're doing and feel like they're the best in it. Like me right now, even at, even at 940, I think I got 944. That's crazy. Shout out to y'all, man. But even at 944 subscribers, I already still feel like, or well, I already feel like I'm the best, you know, at this, whether from the consistent hard work. But that's... That's out of the question. That's out of the reason for this video. But in my opinion, like I don't know, I got to get valid, more valid facts. Let me know what y'all think about that. Um, I'm, I'm kind of hit or miss with that. But I'm gonna have to go check out Will and see what he really was like back in the day. But that is it for this video, man. If you did enjoy this video, do me a big, big favor, man. Smash that thumbs up button. Also, if you're new to the channel, man, make sure you subscribe. You subscribe. Click that post notification bell. You know about all things Rob Television. I'm out to stand.